Hello and welcome to another AIC video. I'm making this video in hopes of saving somebody else the hours of headache that I created for myself. I have here my HP ZBook G2, or ZBook 14 G2, excuse me. Uh, I love this laptop, great laptop, uh, but it has one major glaring issue right now, and that is that it is not Windows 11 compatible. I know that won't matter for about another year and a half or so, but I thought I'd take the time to experience some Linux versions uh, to kind of determine what I'm going to throw on my laptop. Uh, because I have several laptops that are not Windows 11 compatible. My desktop is not currently Windows 11 compatible because I don't want to buy the stupid um, chip that I need to to make it uh, compatible. And so um, I wanted to uh, try test out some Linux distros and see what is available. However, I ran into uh, some pretty annoying issues with the HP laptop and I had to do a lot of googling and searching and I did find a solution and it's pretty straightforward once you know what you're doing uh, which I didn't and it went you know and plus I was doing it late at night I was tired and I wasn't thinking straight anyways so we're gonna go ahead and uh, restart the laptop now don't come at me for the version of Linux I'm using I asked on the Lenovo or the ThinkPad subreddit what people were using and I got about a thousand different responses. So I'm going to try out a couple different distros. I'm just starting off with Linux Mint because I downloaded it for something else. So I just had it sitting around anyways. So I'll show you what the issue is here uh, in just a moment once we boot into the BIOS setup. We're going to go to Advanced. We're going to go to Boot Options. Now, my, this laptop was set on uh, legacy mode so we're going to go ahead and actually change it to legacy mode and you'll see what happens when we do that save changes yeah I know so what what's going to happen is we will get a no bootable drive um, so obviously I had booted previously to Linux so we know we need to boot so you'll get this message if your BIOS is set to legacy. So go ahead and restart. And you just hit escape and it lets you boot into the boot menu options. Okay. BIOS setup, we'll go back to advanced, go down to boot options. If we go down and we change to either of these, oh, come on. We'll go to UFI native. Okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and go to uh, USB, or not USB hard drive. We'll go to OS boot manager. We'll move that up. Say it changes. All right, and so if you have it on like OS Boot Manager, what you'll get is you'll get, it's really hard to see, but you see system reset up here and it'll just boot loop. There we go, boot looping now. So this is where I got stuck and I was really frustrated. And if we go here, oh, come on, reset system. Yeah, I know we wanna reset the system. Okay. You frozen on me on the reset system. What was really frustrating to me is if we come in here. Come on. This is probably the reason why it took so long is because every time I have to reboot it, you know, 15, 20 seconds, whatever this takes. All right, let's go to boot device options. Now you see here, we have two options. We can boot uh, to Ubuntu and that will boot. And we can boot from uh, EFI file. We do that, go down to EFI and you have Ubuntu and boot. And if you go to boot, uh, this one, yeah, so this one lets you uh, continue. 
Anyways, the one that boots uh, is the one that's under Ubuntu, and it's this Grub 64 EFI. I, one of these, I think, is the, if you're using secure boot, but if you see the EFI slash Ubuntu and then the Grub X 64, you click on that. Takes forever. Come on. And we can see that is now booting to Linux. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, restart the computer again and we'll get back into the uh, bio settings. Oh, sounds like too late. Oh. So if I had to let it boot again and do that same thing where it says system reset. But if we go into the bio settings again, I'll show you what you need to change to get it to work. All right, so we'll go back down to bio setup. We go to advanced and down to boot options. And you want to go back down to your boot order and you want customized boot right here. Customized boot. We want to move that up. Oh. Okay. And then enter and then we go back up and to Define customized boot option. Hit enter. Um, so here, I, this box looks grayed out, and so I didn't think I could type anything in here. But what we actually type is boot, or excuse me, EFI slash wrong slash boot to slash grub x64 dot efi and then enter and now if we go to exit we want to save changes then it will reboot And now we're going to boot into Linux Mint Cinnamon. Now I'd like this to boot faster and I don't know how to get it to boot faster. Um, but here we are and we'll go ahead and shut it down. Do a quick shutdown. off, go ahead and power back on, and we're booting into Linux Mint. So uh, pretty pretty simple once you know what you're doing uh, you just have to change it to custom boot and put in the value for that file uh, that's the that's the specific file for Ubuntu and again I'm running Linux Mint on Ubuntu uh, if you're running a different version of Linux uh, either you need to Google what file that is or where it's located or um, go through the boot options and figure out which file I will let you boot the uh, laptop. Anyways, uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave those down below. Hopefully this helps somebody 
and you don't waste a couple of hours like I did last night at midnight trying to figure this out. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.